We're going to start off here by going through the engineer. Uh, we're going to be running the Warthog to start off with. Um, I'm running uh, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. For my overclock, I'm running the cycle overlog. It's going to give me uh, overload, sorry. It's going to be give me more damage, faster rate of fire. The spread's a little higher, but with dreadnoughts, they're going to be in your face the whole time, so it really doesn't matter the whole time. Uh, I am running born ready on this class to kind of offset some of this reload, so if I have to, I can switch to the breach cutter and kind of get some space in between me and the dreadnought. Um, for the breach cutter, what I'm running is 1, 2, 1, 2, 2 as well as spinning death. Uh, the importance of spinning death and the thing that really I think makes this overclock is, hold on, sorry, let me go back to it, is the stun. Uh, this kind of allows people to stand in it. Uh, if you hit a dreadnought in it, it will slow it down. It's not gonna necessarily stop it as much, but as it spins around, it's gonna continuously stun it. It'll hold it in place to allow you to get a lot of damage in. Uh, if you can stun over the top of your proximity mines, uh, I'll show you in a video in a second, you can get a ton of damage off. You're basically always going to hit the damage cap and they're gonna reset their armor. So it's a very, very good build and I'll kind of show you how that works. Um, for the turns, I am running the two turns. Uh, that's kind of up to personal preference. Um, it is a little bit more to manage when you're fighting a dreadnought. It can be more sensible to just take the one. But if you look at the damage numbers, you're going to get more damage from two of them than you will with one. You're firing double the bullets and you're getting more damage. It's just that's the way that I like to play it. Um, you can use dash. I run dash this class as well. It kind of puts a space in between you and the dreadnought, which allows you to reload your turns. It's not really a whole lot of an issue. So uh, personal preference there, whatever you guys want to take. Um, I am running proximity mines. Uh, the lure is nice, but it's not really, it, it's not going to deal you any damage. It's just something to distract it. If you really want to take kind of a passive approach to it, you can take the lure, but I think I would rather kill the Dreadnought as fast as possible, and that's what these builds are going to be for, is dealing as much damage as possible, as quick as possible. So let's go ahead and roll the clip here, and we'll kind of see what we got going on. All right, so we're on a Hazard 4 uh, Dreadnought mission, and the way you're going to want to set this up is set your turns up facing the egg. You want to throw two proximity mines this way. Um, whatever it is is going to pretty much just run straight at you, and you get turn whip off. If it's the twins, you're gonna deal a ton of damage. If it's the regular Glyphid Dreadnought, you're gonna absolutely melt its armor. If it's a Hive Guard, it's got its invincibility or whatever you gotta worry about, but that'll come in time. So I don't know what I'm gonna get from this, but I'm gonna pop it and I'm gonna play this clip of me killing this Dreadnought. So you can kind of watch it. I'm not gonna be talking or anything. I'll just be kind of showing you guys, you know, how this build works and kind of seeing what, what I do to fight Dreadnoughts. This is a big one! Grenade! 